What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and you are officially watching my very first 4K video. I'm gonna be showing you everything that's changed between the first beta and beta four of iOS 8.4, and there's quite a bit. Most of it is subtle, and most of it is found in the music application. So to begin, we do have this new music application. Swipe through pages just like this. It's a very beautiful redesign, very modern indeed. The amount of categories in music has shrunk from five to three pages, and you can organize all music on the front page by artists, albums, songs, etc. And here you have the settings for offline music. I've noticed that iOS 8.4 handles large libraries better, especially when scrolling through them. Although there is stutter, it's less prevalent than iOS 8.3 was. Now probably the best feature in the new iOS 8.4 update is this mini player. Not only is it beautiful, it's very functional. It's available on all three pages in the music application, and what it allows you to do is easily switch songs without needing to go to the now playing page and switch them there. I mean, it's just down there on the bottom. And you can actually pause and play music using that little icon on the mini player. Now these little buttons over here on each song, these are the options for them. Now if it's a radio station, obviously you can start it, these aren't. Now in playlists, you have some extra customizability as well. Not only can you add titles, descriptions, you can add a custom photo for a playlist, so a little bit more customizability inside of the music application. Another great feature it took Apple way too long to add is the cue list. Now you can add songs to a cue list by clicking this button over here, and that animation, did you notice it? That's new for this latest beta as well, so it's a very subtle animation and here's the cue list so drag songs up and this is in alphabetical order there is an easier way to do this now if you go all the way up there's a history list of previously played songs as well so you can easily drag and drop them and now you have a cue list of what will play next perfect for parties where you set your phone down and you don't want to worry about what song comes up next now to add songs by search all you guys have to do is click the add button right there and now instead of just reorganizing them you can actually add individual ones to the list so easily click the plus button I don't like that there's no animation that says you confirmed the click. Uh, I can't see it at least, but it'd be a little bit easier if there was. Overall though, very effective. I absolutely love the fact that Apple finally added a cue list. Now Apple has made some adjustments in the latest beta to the actual artist view. So when you click on the artist and you go down and whenever you click on a certain artist, it has to be a well-known one, a lot of mine aren't, you'll get a really cool picture of them up there. So not only can you connect from them on this page, but the view for their actual albums has changed. So let me go ahead and find an artist where I have more than three albums. And now you see this view instead. So you see all of their albums instead of them all just being clumped up with all the songs in one list. Now Apple has added a very subtle color effect. It's applied both to albums and individual songs. So if you'll notice, when I switch through all of these new albums, new artists, I'll get a different background for every single one. Now these are all different for individual songs, artist pictures, and albums. And it's very nice. Of course, we've seen that in the jailbreak through color flow, but overall, it's very nice, very elegant here in the music application. I absolutely love it. In this beta, when viewing the latest playlist, you'll get an icon of four clumped up into one square instead of just one preview. That really tiny iPhone icon signifies that music is stored directly to your device. You're not just streaming it or listening to it from the cloud. In the latest beta 4, Apple has finally patched the effective power bug. No more random restarts, just survive until June 30th and you'll finally be free from that curse. Audiobooks have been relocated from the music application to iBooks, so no more random Italian lessons while listening to music. Now I've noticed that animations are a lot smoother, even in this beta 4 version. I know it's not official yet, but it's going to improve, especially with iOS 9 in the future, but it looks like animations are definitely more fluid on 8.4. Now when asking Siri to remind you of something, she will do it automatically, so you no longer have to confirm it, you just have one option to remove it in 8.4. And lastly, iTunes Radio has received some mild updates such as search and some extra categorization, but we're all waiting for the Beats music streaming service. So what will iOS was 8.4 be released? Well, Apple has given us an official release date. It'll launch alongside the new Beats music streaming service on June 30th, so expect it then. Now, you should an update if you're waiting for jailbreak, but I'll have more information on that when it is out. Otherwise, iOS 8.4 is shaping up to be a great firmware update from iOS 8.3. iOS 9 will take this music player and build upon it, but overall, it's definitely a great upgrade for the music application. Very modern, very streamlined, looking great, more functional. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video and I would appreciate your feedback on this video. I know the focus is a little bit off. I'm still working on getting adjusted to this new camera, but let me know what you guys think down below in the description. Have a great day. Enjoy iOS 8.3 until 8.4 comes out very soon. Peace.